The Darkness Takeover update just dropped, and I want to cover it because it's one of the few Pibby mods left in FNF, and it's very well done, actually. Now, the backstory of this mod is interesting because it's one of the few mods where people suffer because of boyfriend. Now, many of you may not know what I'm talking about, but the reason that the darkness comes to Quahog is because of boyfriend. Now, in boyfriend's defense, he and Pippi have been fighting against the darkness for a long time and wanted to warn other universes of the threat that was going to come to them. But Quahog actually wasn't affected until boyfriend came to the universe. The darkness actually followed boyfriend there. Boyfriend was actually looking for the Griffin's house to warn them since they are the main characters in the show. He thought that if he could give them some type of heads up, maybe they could avoid or outsmart the darkness in some way. So really, boyfriend was trying to do a good thing, but the Griffins probably would have had a better chance of surviving if he just wouldn't have come there at all and simply hope that the darkness skipped over their universe since there are so many places for the darkness to take over and let's be honest the only person that's probably smart enough to fight against the darkness and Kohog is probably Stewie now when we get to the actual mod we see that boyfriend arrives at the Griffin's house but the family is already corrupted the only people that managed to avoid it at first were Brian and Stewie even the evil monkey was corrupted now I'm not surprised that Brian and Stewie are the only ones that actually are uncorrupted because they are the two smartest people people in the house. And seeing these survivors, Boyfriend goes to battle with them because he wants to protect as many people as he can. But partway through this battle, Boyfriend actually disappears, and a lot of people, including myself, thought that he was dead at first. But in actuality, he gets thrown out of the window by Lois. Now, the mod starts to get interesting when the family chases Brian and Stewie into Stewie's room, where we see Peter is actually slung out of the corruption. Now, originally, I thought that Peter got himself out of the corruption, but it turns out that Stewie was able to figure out a way to actually pull people out of the darkness the sad part here though is that even though he was able to pull peter out he couldn't stop brian from being taken luckily though when lois tries to corrupt stewie he's able to use one of his gadgets to teleport away proving that he is definitely one of the few people smart enough to at least avoid the darkness if not stop it altogether, or at least so it seems now the song ends with peter being left alone fighting against the darkness but even though we don't see it it seems that boyfriend is able to save him and get him back out onto the street and later in the mod we see this to be true because Peter and boyfriend are running away from the darkness together. Now the scary part here is that within the darkness we see death aka the grim reaper riding along with it and the fact that death is also a victim serves to remind us just how powerful the darkness is. Now later in the mod we actually see Quagmire and Joe fighting against the darkness as well which surprisingly goes really well. Things don't get bad for Quagmire and to corrupt it, Stewie appears. Now if you're like me you probably thought that Stewie got away when he teleported while battling Lois but it seems like Lois was actually able to hit Stewie right before he teleported, meaning that he did escape, but not before the corruption actually started taking over his body. This is why we see him attack Quagmire. The sad part here is that Quagmire has his right arm basically corrupted and taken off, and it seems that his whole body is going to be corrupted as well, but he is able to shake it off somehow, but not without losing his right arm. It literally looks like it had been ripped off. And something that surprised me even more is that Quagmire is not only able to shake off the corruption, but he's also able to save Stewie somehow. And this we see gives Stewie a chance to teleport away again, and it seems like he actually gets away. Now, I don't understand why Quagmire is able to break away from the corruption, but some people are saying that it's because he's done a lot of nasty things in his life, if you catch my meat. At the end of the mod, we see Peter again, but he is now separated from Boyfriend. He's battling against Ernie, aka the giant chicken, and the two of them are on a bus heading to the airport. Now, Peter almost loses to this chicken, but Quagmire shows up to give him some backup. Proving that Quagmire is definitely probably the MVP in this mod. And for people who may think it's weird that Peter almost lost to a chicken, if you remember back in the show, him and Ernie used to really go at it, and they would always almost have a draw with Peter just barely winning. So with Ernie being corrupted and probably a bit more powerful, it makes sense that he probably wouldn't be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. So Quagmire coming to back him up was probably a lifesaver. Now, one thing that really stands out in this scene is that Quagmire's right arm still seems to have some corruption on it. But even so, he seems to be fighting it off somehow. And after they defeat Ernie, the two of them actually meet up with Joe in Cleveland. And with that, they continue to head to the airport. It seems that their plan is to get on a plane and just fly over the darkness. And it actually looked like their plan was going to work and they were going to escape. But we see that Cleveland's son, Rollo, actually appears on the plane, taken by the corruption. And to make matters worse, Rollo seems to be really, really powerful. 
and this is confirmed when he's able to corrupt Quagmire, and this time Quagmire is not able to resist the darkness. Personally, I think this is because Quagmire is already weakened from fighting against Stewie and losing his arm. The mod ends with Quagmire setting the plane on fire. It's actually a really dark ending because it almost looked like the crew was going to escape, but sadly they were stopped right at the finish line. With all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe today to become a member of the Oris Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.